Hey loves, it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be a wig by Best Lace Wigs. But for this particular video, I'm going to show you girls how I put layers and volume in my wigs when they are particularly thin to me. So this one here is their 22 inch silky texture and is a virgin hair glueless full lace wig. Um, and like I said, it's straight, it's textured, um, it is virgin, it's a natural color. Um, 22 inches in length, but for me, it's a little bit thin. You know, I use like four bundles and a close to make a wig for me especially if it's straight so when I get a wig that's particularly thin like this to me this could be like a natural density for some but for me I do like a lot of hair not overbearing overwhelming Shaka Khan hair but I do like a lot of hair just so it could be really full full hair and voluminous hair is sexy hair to me so um what I do is I cut layers in it and I curl it a particular way. So that way it gives the illusion that my hair is just very full. So with this wig, it does have three combs in it. Excuse me, three in the frontal area, which is the middle, and the two on the temples. And then they also have another comb in the back along with the adjustable strap. I'm going to be honest and say it is about time that one of these lace wig companies put a comb back here where the adjustable straps are at. Normally when I get them, there's only three combs and an adjustable strap and I'm always like well why don't they take this middle comb and put it to the nape area because they fail to realize that your wig does lift up in the back if you don't have any type of wig security so go ahead best lace wigs because I'm happy that they did that so the adjustable straps and the back comb is a plus I've already went ahead and placed my part in this unit um, I didn't actually even have to wash this wig when it came to me. It came to me perfectly straight, perfectly, perfectly, perfect out of the box. The only thing I did was put some lotta body setting lotion and train my part to go towards the right side. Okay, love, so it's time to get to styling this unit. As you can see, like I said, I already went ahead and put in a right part. And the braid that you see on the side is actually my anchor braid so the combs could slip in and not slip back through my hair. This is a really long wig, and like I said, she's a little thin for my particular taste, but for those, you may like it. Now, for this particular styling cut, I'm going to be using some clips along with some hair clips and a pair of scissors and a good comb. And I'm going to go ahead and basically part the front portion of my hair, brush it down, and I'm going to be using my scissors to just give it some layering effect. As you can see, all I need to do is basically put these scissors on the hair and go on a downward effect with my scissors and I went ahead and took that top portion I went ahead and split it again in another portion just to make it a little bit shorter and I'm basically going to be doing that into the high to the entire hair with this lace wig the hair is super soft and like I said it's virgin hair so you can do just basically anything you want to do to it so to continue on with this tutorial of layering it I do this basically with a lot of my wigs just to give it more volume especially if it's thin but I do like volume and layers in my wig because it just gives a style and flair and density that I love so I went ahead and layered basically I would say 80% of the unit I didn't layer the back portion of it because I just really felt like it didn't need it however I did want it in the front just to like I said give it some volume and height and just make it appear like it's a lot fuller than what it is so the hair is super soft the one thing I like the most about it is that I didn't have to wash it it came out the box perfectly straight and just just perfect all the way around perfect which is a good thing um, and it's a really easy hair or it's just really easy hair to basically style so I'm going to go ahead and brush these layers into my hair. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using some cream of nature mousse. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my Aussie Instant Freeze mousse, which I prefer. But what I have on hand, I'm going to be using along with my pump spray Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. So I put these two products together because normally I would just use the Aussie Instant Freeze hair mousse. And that would serve as a holding spray as well as a mousse. But as for right now, I don't have that. Now, the barrel that you see me use is actually from Irresistible Me, and I absolutely love this barrel. It is an 8-in-1 interchangeable barrel, and let me tell you, ladies, it is a must-have to have this barrel if you want different hairstyles or just something easy to use. The barrel heats up really fairly quickly, and like I said, it's a really easy barrel to use. It's 8-in-1. The one that I had prior to this one is the 4-in-1 Cortex, which I do like as well. But after using the 8-in-1, I don't think I would ever go back.
So on to the next side, I'm going to actually do the same exact thing. I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair and then I'm going to be using some cream of nature and back to that Irresistible Me 8-in-1 um, interchangeable curling wand, which is actually called the Sapphire Collection. So as you see here, I'm holding the hair for a few seconds just to keep the curl pattern going. Uh, baseless, base, best Lace Wigs has some really good units. I will tell you this much. I love their weaving hair to death. I have been wearing the Kinky Straight Weaving Hair Wig that I actually created for like two months now and I absolutely love it. Now to define my part, I will be using some uh, concealer along with that just to make my edges look a little thicker. I am spraying on some Topic Keratin Hair Filler Fibers, which is not a wet spray, but it actually looks like little tiny hair filler fibers that you will place on your hair. So if you have thin edges or you have any type of balding or balding spots, then I would highly suggest this product, which is available at uh, Sally's or Target. Okay, my love, so all done styling this unit. This unit came out really, really pretty once I put some layers into it. It's really important before you flat iron or curl or style your hair. To me, it's important. I always use some styling mousse because it gives it a hold. It keeps the flyaways down. Normally, I use the Aussie Instant Freeze styling mousse, but I ran out. And also, I normally use the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray and an aerosol cam but I ran out so I used what I had and they both worked out perfectly normally I don't hairspray the hair and brush it in because I always use the Aussie instant freeze mousse so it serves as the both purpose but being that this doesn't kind of like hold the style I had to use both like I said it's 22 inches I only took a little bit off and as you can see it did give it some volume and layering it gave it more of a fuller look which I think is like really pretty right now um, and the hair is um, virgin hair, which means that if you girls want to purchase it, you can bleach it, dye it, do whatever because it is virgin hair. Now, I will post a coupon code for you girls below so that way you can receive $10 off your order. Um, also, besides this unit, they have like the bombest weaving hair ever. I love their kinky straight weaving hair. I made a wig out of it like a month ago and I've been wearing it consistently and it is one of my favorite wigs of all time. I love the texture of it. It's beautiful, beautiful hair. Three bundles in a closure was more than enough and it just turned out really, really pretty. So, as for Best Lace Wigs, this wig fits so properly. It's snug, it's tight, the nape area has a comb, the adjustable straps stay in place, but it also has a very good, it has a wonderful hairline to wear it. If you didn't want to pull a little bit of your own hairs out, then you can wear it as is because it has all the dips in curves, all the curves like a hairline would have, opposed to some that you get that just have a straight cut. So as for this particular cut or style, this is the GSW 118. And like I said, it's in a natural color because it is virgin hair. And it is a glueless lace cap. So you can actually part this wherever you want on this particular unit and you'll be fine. So yes, you can check them out. I will post all the information in the link below for this particular unit. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay diva and divalicious. And I'll check you guys out on my next video.